Imagine sitting under a tree. Watch the light dance through the leaves, filtering through to the ground where abstract shadows are cast. What thoughts appear during this experience? Not only is this a lovely way to spend the afternoon, but it is also a great way to start this Blick lesson plan. Students will first create an eight-line poem reflecting their experience, and then create an accordion-style book, specially decorated with metallic paints, to enhance their meaning. To truly illustrate their written experience, cuts will be made at the creases of the pages, allowing light to shine through, creating beautiful and fun patterns on the surface below when the book is displayed open. To start, you will need two covers, one for the front and one for the back. These are cut from a sturdy 14-ply mat board. Next, you will need Paycon construction paper, cut to the height of the book and long enough to be folded eight times the width of the book. With a ruler, make registration marks along the length of the paper. My book cover is five inches wide, so I am marking every five inches. Just because my book is five by six inches doesn't mean yours has to be. Really, these can be cut to a wide range of sizes and formats. Let's take a look at this little one up here. This little cutie is only three and a half by two inches. It really is stunning. There is a limit to how large the book can be, however. A, say, a seven by eight, it will start to become a little bit flimsy. Now, I'm going to begin folding my page in an accordion zigzag pattern. Make sure to get a good crease in the fold. If needed, you can use a pencil and run along the edge. Depending on the size of your cover and the strip of paper, two pieces of paper may be needed to be pieced together in order to get eight full panels. Let me show you how pages can be spliced together by creating a tab page, or a page that is approximately just one inch wide, just wide enough to attach with glue to the next strip of paper. Press the pages down, and now it's time to attach the covers. But before gluing them down, I'm going to cut a piece of ribbon, which can serve as a closure. You could also use hemp, string, leather cord. The piece should be at least twice as long as the book is wide. Insert it between the cover and the page. Place your ribbon and then the cover. Press down firmly, doing the same to attach the back cover. While drying, it helps to place the piece under a heavy book, but I also like to secure it with rubber bands. This ensures the pages will stay nice and flat while it dries. Now for the fun part, painting and decorating. There are many metallic options, so I'm just going to mention a few of my favorites. Blick Liquid Watercolors has a wonderfully rich line of metallics. Let's try some. Niji offers an extensive pan set of pearlescent colors. FW acrylic inks are also a great choice for a wide range of pearlescent and metallic colors. And because it's actually an acrylic, they have great coverage. They also come in a bottle with this fantastic little dropper bottle that can also be used directly on the page as a drawing tool. Crayola pearlescent cream sticks and Pentel gel pens are both excellent for drawing and adding details. All of these are great options and can be used together 
But I really want to stress there are so many wonderful metallic drawing and painting options. Paints can be used abstractly, as I am here, or illustratively. This is a great time to experiment with both the paints and the technique used to apply them. Don't forget to use the poem written in the beginning as inspiration for painting the pages. Also, don't forget to paint the backside. This is a full three-dimensional book. To make this book true to its name and full of shadows, we're going to need to make some cuts. I have a book here that is dry. Cut along the folded page edge. Sort of like cutting a paper snowflake. Pieces can be cut out completely or left partially attached. They can be folded out to add a little extra dimension. Cuts can also be made to the center of the page by simply folding it again and making a cut. Finally, it's time to transcribe your eight-line masterpiece onto the pages of your specially crafted book and really let it shine. Now it's time to take a page out of our book to view the full lesson plan PDF with step-by-step -step instructions, photos, and national standards. Visit dickblick.com.